and welcome to Simply Cooking. I'm your host, Stacey Simfukwe, and today we're gonna to be making something really amazing because we are starting the fall season. The fall season, we like all of the oranges and the yellows and the different beautiful colors. And this is also a great season for um, our, our root vegetables. And so today we are working on a sweet potato crepe with a peach pecan filling. And I love the peach pecan filling because this is kind of the end of the peach season, but the beginning of the sweet potato season. So I kind of like that contrast. So today, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna work on our peach. This has already been washed, so we're gonna go ahead and start peeling our peach. And I love peaches because they are pretty sweet. You know, they're very sweet and when we get towards the end of the season, like this is when, you know, you're getting that last bit of sweetness um, in your peaches. So I'm gonna enjoy this. Are y'all peach fans? Yeah. Yes. I love peaches. We're gonna just do this with a knife. And I mean, some people wanna use the peeler, use the peeler. Um, don't be intimidated, it doesn't have to be perfect. We're just gonna peel this because the skin has little hairs on it and the little hairs can kind of irritate you a little bit. So we're gonna take that off. Let's go ahead and get the rest of that off. And peaches, it's one of my favorite fruits because it's just, I love the earthiness of it, the natural sweetness. It's not too sweet, it's just the right amount of sweetness. So here we go. Put the skins over here. Now I'm gonna go ahead and cut the peach all the way around. And what are we gonna find on the inside? Nice little pit. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the tip of my knife and kind of, well, you know what, let me cut it this way. Cut it like this. We're gonna just pull the pit out. And what you wanna do is make sure that you um, peel away and cut out the inside, because this part is kind of really bitter. You don't want that bitterness um, from the peach. You really wanna keep it nice and sweet. So I'm just gonna cut the pit out. And we're gonna make a kind of peach pecan candied uh, flavored topping for our crepes. Now, do you guys like crepes? Oh, yeah. Yeah? Have you had crepes before? Uh, I think so. They're very pancakes. They're very thin pancakes. <laughs> they come from France. Um, you know, French always got to do things their way. Um, but um, it does come from France, and it's just a very, very thin pancake. Um, you know, pancakes traveled across, or crepes traveled across the ocean and it came here in the US and we decided we don't like it thin, so we, that's how pancakes came to be. So yeah, we always gotta do our own thing, don't we? So we're gonna go ahead and cut out the middle. You know, we don't like that bitterness. Bitterness is not that good. We're gonna cut this down, and I'm just gonna cut it into little chunks. Get this all ready to go, to go in my pot. Now, do you guys like cinnamon? Yeah. This is the season. This is where cinnamon season kind of starts, like cinnamon and ginger. Um, some other flavors I like to add in my cinnamon and my ginger is cardamom. Y'all like cardamom? Cardamom, oh wow. Well, it's a, it's a seasoning that has like a little bit of that ginger citrusy flavor to it. And I mean, I love the, the citrus and the warmth that comes from it. And, you know, a little bit of the acidity of the flavor kind of breaks up the sweetness. Sometimes something can be too sweet, you know? So now I'm gonna um, heat up my pan. Wait, hold on a second. Here we go. So I'm gonna heat up my pan. I'm put on medium high. I'm going to drop some butter into my pan, and I'm just going to put a tablespoon of butter in there because we don't need a whole bunch. 
The peaches are gonna come with its own liquid. And I'm gonna add my brown sugar. And that's about a tablespoon of brown sugar. Like I said, we're not gonna do too much. Add my cinnamon. We're gonna keep it as basic and as simple as possible. Now I already have my little crushed pecans right over here, so we're gonna add that in here and our peaches. Y'all kind of smell the cinnamon, smell it. Smells good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So we're gonna add that and then I'm gonna put my peaches in here. You gotta be careful with the heat because sugar can burn very easily. It softens the peaches. We want to soften them so they're really beautiful and tender. We don't want them like hard, and but we still want it to have a little bit of a bite to it. So I'm just covering the peaches with my cinnamon and brown sugar. <laughs> this, let me tell you. And the peaches come, like, while we're cooking it down like this, what we're trying to do is we're trying to bring the sweetness of the peaches to the surface so we can enjoy that flavor. And the brown sugar and the butter add that saltiness so you get that, like, sweet caramelization taste, that little caramel sweetness. I love the salty-sweet contrast. We're going to let that do its thing. And while this is cooking down, I'm going to let that bubble Turn it down to medium, let that bubble in the pan. While that's bubbling, we're gonna go ahead and work on our crepes, okay? Now I know, I love crepes, okay? I love crepes, and I love sweet potato. And sweet potato has a lot of delicious things in it. It has uh, all the vegetables you need. I'm gonna use my masher to kind of break, or not my masher, my whisk to kind of break down these sweet potatoes. Um, now, there's many ways you can break down your sweet potato. You can roast them in the oven. That's perfectly okay to roast them in the oven. Um, I prefer to boil my sweet potatoes because it just works a little faster. I don't have patience for all that. So I tend to boil them, and when I boil them, I don't peel the skin. I go ahead and, I'm adding some cinnamon. I go ahead and I wash the sweet potato, and then, Add the rest of this brown sugar. And I'm gonna add a little vanilla extract. And I see that my peaches is doing what I want it to do, so I'm gonna actually add my pecans. I'm not gonna add all of them, just gonna add a little bit. Yeah, there we go. When you kind of see that the butter and the sugar kind of melts down a little bit and they kind of get married with the with the peaches, that's a good time to start adding your pecans because what you don't want is super soft pecans. You want them crisp. So I'm adding, I added my brown sugar to my sweet potato and I added my cinnamon um, and my vanilla extract and I'm mashing them down so they're at a good consistency. Next thing I'm gonna do is add my flour. And I know some people are looking at me like, what, why did you add dry to this? But I want this to go together um, so I can combine the flavors or combine the mixture early. Um, and this will prevent lumps because if you add all your liquid and then all of your, your dry, you will get a significant amount of lumps. So I wanna work those lumps out before I even introduce my liquids. So the next thing I'm gonna add is my egg. Here we go. And once again, I just wanna get it all blended in there, work it all out and get all the lumps out. See, it's kind of mixing in and compressing into my, uh, my whisk. But I don't want my um, batter to be super lumpy. gonna take this and kind of push that out there we go and you can definitely use a hand mixer I like to do things the old-fashioned way
And we got the smokiness. I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the heat. And I'm gonna add, watch this. Look at that. Okay. Right. <laughs> We're gonna put this pan to the side. Okay. Now. We got this all mixed and combined. So the next part we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and add our milk. What kind of milk do you use? This is just whole milk, but you can use almond milk and it tastes just as good. And I'm adding a little bit at a time because if I add the whole thing, once again, we're trying to prevent lumps because crepes is supposed to be very thin and smooth. The batter is supposed to be very thin. So is that the batter right there? This is the batter for your crepes. So it's gonna be watery. It's not gonna be like pancake batter where it's like thick and juicy and everything. We want it very thin. And we're just gonna keep mixing and adding. Are you powder? Hmm? Are you yes. We're gonna use this whole thing. This is about a half a cup. But the recipes for this will be on the Facebook page at oh, Simply that was Cooking. My next question. Yes. <laughs> The recipe for this is going to be on Simply Cooking at FSU, so go ahead and check that out, um, and uh, this will that will help you uh, get the recipe for this. So we're going to keep adding until it's the right consistency, which we want it very thin. Um, you can see it's very thin. Here we go. We got a little bit of batter in that mixer and in, in my whisk, so I'm going to break that down. There we go. I'm gonna add the last bit of my milk. And once again, we're just gonna get in here and we're gonna work this out. Get the lumps out, which there's not very many. Just a little bit of lumpiness. The sweet potato added some body to it. I personally, like I said, I love sweet potato. And this is my pan. Now, here's the deal about the pan. Not everybody has a crepe pan at home. That's perfectly okay if you do not have a crepe pan. Find your flattest frying pan and that will work just as well. So we're gonna mix this up. Alrighty, so here's the next step. I'm actually gonna use this cup because I do not have my spoon, but anyway. So we're gonna use this, let's turn the heat on. We're gonna put it on medium high. We don't want it too warm. We're gonna add a little bit of butter spray just to cover the bottom and the surface, okay? And we're gonna bring it close because we wanna make sure it's done right. So here we go. Make sure the heat is all warmed up. And we're gonna just add the mixture when we add the mixture, we're simply going to move the batter around the pan. There are special tools for this, but you don't need special tools. You can do this yourself. Just move your pan around, give it a minute, watch the edges. The edges will crisp up and then the middle will start to bubble a little bit. When the middle bubbles, that's the time to flip it. And you can kind of see the bubbles happening right now. You know, when you make pancakes, you see the bubble and you know to flip it. So we're watching the edges. The edges is starting to cook. You can kind of see the bubbling on the edges. And then the middle is doing its thing. It's bubbling a little bit. So we just stay patient, let it do its thing. It really doesn't take as long. Okay. Now, has anybody ever had sweet potato pancakes, crepes? Mm -hmm. yes. You have? Okay. We sweet like sweet potato. For the first time the other day. Really? Sweet potato waffles. Wow. Was there any toppings on it? Uh, or? No, I got it plain. It's plain. a uptown chicken. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. They're wonderful. It was my first time ever having it. I was pretty surprised and uh, delighted with the taste of it. So oh, yeah. I sweet potato. So we're going to flip it and look at that. Look at that beautiful brown. Oh, that's awesome. See how pretty? <laughs> Y'all are concerned. You're like, oh, is this going to come out? Is this going to be good? Yes, it's going to be good. I'm not going to lead you wrong. I promise. So this came out really beautiful. We're going to let it brown and get all pretty. I love pretty crepes. We're going to use, yes. 
the honey. We're going to get into that. So let's get the crepe on the plate. Flip it on here. I'm actually going to make one more because I'm that addicted to the sweet potato crepes. Okay. Like I said, I'm going to add a little bit more because I want my crepe to be nice and big. And we're just going to move the pan around. Does not have to be perfect. You don't have to be a world renowned chef to do this. You just have to be committed. So we're letting it bubble. All the edges is bubbling right now. I'm watching the middle bubble a little bit. And once we see that bubble kind of cease a little bit, then we know it's time to flip. Now, the honey. This is um, some holiday spice honey from my good friends over at Behive Yourself. Um, they have um, given me this honey to try. This is, y'all can kind of smell it. It has like cinnamon, ginger, cardamom, all the yum yums in it. And we're gonna use that to drizzle over our delicious crepes. Yes, here we go. I'm gonna turn my heat down just a touch. It's a little toasty. You can find that honey um, at their Facebook page, um, Behive Yourself, or you can actually go to the Dirtbag Ales Farmer's Market right here in Hope Mills, and um, they will have their honey right there on deck. Now, I don't know the honey, the, the spice, because, you know, I, I got the hookup, so. All right, here we go. We're gonna add one more, and once again, you're gonna just take it and move your pan around. You can already see it kind of doing its thing. There it is, and the outside is bubbling up beautifully. Okay, and while that's doing its thing, I'm gonna go ahead and put my plate together, start dressing my crepes. Go ahead and flip it, there you go. Smells good. <laughs> so now we're gonna go ahead and I'm going to add some of my peaches right on top, my peaches and my pecans. Let me go grab that crepe. Because it is done as soon as you flip it. I'm gonna put it over here on the plate. I know it's gonna be messy, y'all. Huh? <laughs> so we're going to put these peaches right here, right on top. And if you can, you can go ahead and throw some whipped cream on top, which I would totally suggest. Put some whipped cream. Now, when it comes down to folding crepes, there's the burrito roll where you just roll it. There is what I'm going to do, which is the four. So we're going to do it folded in fourths. So I'm folding it in half, and then I'm going to fold it in half once again. And that's one beautiful crepe. And then I'm gonna do another. <laughs> I'm gonna do another where we're gonna go ahead and load it. Okay. And then we're gonna go ahead and fold it in half. And then we're gonna fold it in half once again. And that's another beautiful crepe. And we're gonna do one more. Oop. I would put it on the main layer, and then you can always flip it so it doesn't kind of leak through, but I think it'll be fine. It just depends on how much topping you put on there. Um, I have a house full of boys, and they eat quite a bit, so we put, we load it up. So here we go. Let me show you my beautiful crepes. Here you go. And that is a sweet potato crepe. Let me go ahead and drizzle. Yeah, we got to drizzle. So we're going to drizzle. Drizzle it. So we're going to drizzle our honey right on top. <laughs> I'm going to drizzle that right on top. 
And I want to thank you guys for tuning in. That was Simply Cooking with Stacy Simfukwe. Um, if you want to follow me, we're on Facebook at Facebook Simply Cooking FSU. You can also email me at simplycookingfsu at gmail. Thank you for coming in and remember to simply cook.